This is Cars All Time, Car Search Engine, and I am G, your host. And I am KK, your co-host. And we've got a car that's not a concept this time. This is an actual car that was went in production. I think they were going to make a concept, and it's strictly, okay, it's called the Chevrolet Nomad. was a model made off on from 1955 to 1972 and a Chevy van trim package in the late 1970s and early 1980s. The Nomad is best remembered in its two-door 1957 to 1957 form. Okay. I hate this car because it does not have a four-door. It's only got a two-door, which means I would have to climb to the back window and climb right in, and I would not like to do that. I hate the car. <laughs> you hate it already. Yes, I, I do. Well, just like you did not live in 1955 to drive one back then. The Brady Bunch station wagon. The two-door Nomad differed from other station wagons of the era by having a unique styling more reminiscent of a hardtop sedan than the standard station wagon. Chevrolet shared this body with its with sister, which marked their revert. Forget that. Uh, the concept was introduced at the GM Motorama in 1954 as one of the head stylists of dream cars, followed by, it followed the introduction of the 1950, 1954 was a concept car, and 1955 it finally went into production, even though it did not have the full doors. <laughs> I hate it. Yeah. It was not uncommon for the car to be referred to as a Chevy Bel Air Nomad. Okay. All right, let's see. Let's see what we got here. Ah. The base V8 had two barrel and was rated at 162 horsepower, which is not very much, right? No, it's not. What, and the power pack option featured a four barrel carburetor with, and other upgrades yielding 108 brake horsepower. Later in the year, a super power pack option added high compression and a further 15 brake horsepower. Ooh, ooh. ooh. <laughs> 11 horsepower added, wow. Wow. It had room for six passengers. So in 1956, Chevrolet's received a facelift. This, this gave Chevy's a more conventional full width grille, pleasing those customers who didn't like the Ferrari inspired 1955 front end. Okay, Nomads now carried the same interior and rear wheel sheet metal as other Bel Airs, lacking the original's unique trim. Shoulder harnesses and padded dashboard were now available. For 1956 Chevys, hid the gas cap behind the left side flip down taillight. So the taillight was back there like this, and you flip down the taillight and there was the gas cap. Oh wow, that is so neat. That's the way it is on the Cadillacs. Is it? Yeah, my buddy Vince got a Cadillac. We, the, at an auction, we went to the gas station, put gas in, and we looked all over that car for the gas cap. <laughs> Where the heck is that gas cap at? So the, one of the guys there at the service station came out and said, oh, you lift the, 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 the lights in the back back here, and there's the gas cap right there. <laughs> Golly. <laughs> We'd have never known. <laughs> Okay, in 1957, the V8 engine displacement grew to, from 265 in 1957. Uh, the super, sur, super turbo fire V8 option producing 283 horsepower with the help of continuous gas pedal. Continuous gas pedal. <laughs> These so-called fuel cars are quite rare since most Bel Airs are fitted with carburation, while considered to be a milestone vehicle design. So if you find yourself a 1957 uh, Chevy with a fuel engine in it, it's real rare, it's worth a lot of money. So look into that, okay? Uh, 1958, for the 1958 model year, Chevrolet moved the Nomad name to its top line four door. Bel Air station wagon, Bel Air based station wagon, which was ugly looking, ugly, ugly, ugly. Ugly, ugly, yeah. Like the rest of Chevrolet's 1958 full size car lineup, the Nomad features Chevrolet's new safety girder. That's what it says, safety girder, 
cruciform frame, similar in layout to the frame adopted for the 1957 Cadillac. And there you go. There you go. And went from nice looking, which you say is ugly, to ugly. To ugly, <laughs> fugly. Okay, there we go. There we go. And I uh, see. That's, we're done with the Nomad. We are done with Nomad. And it's like, this is our show for right now. now I'm Gail. I am G, your host. And I am KK, your co-host. Right here. See, See ya. ya.